hello guys welcome back to my channel it's been a it's been a busy day basically today is a weekday and i just finished filming i finished filming one of the requested videos about eating home costs eating costs while buying a home or a house in the united kingdom and i feel so pumped i am actually planning on filming the second video and i just thought let me take out my camera and continue the vlogmas because vlogmas must to drop the second video that i want to film right now is about the documents needed for ilr application for those on a skilled worker visa so that has also been requested on my previous video about ilr application and i just want to start filming it right now hope you guys are good hope you're fine i have seen a reduction in the views in the vlogs so i was just wondering if let me know in the comment section is it too much for you like the daily vlogs the daily videos do you think it's too much are you tired of seeing my face on your screen is that why you are not watching my videos let me know please your suggestions will be highly highly appreciated thank you very much so this is currently my setup i was supposed to use that corner that white chair there that's the corner i usually use for my sit down videos but i decided to change um the corner today so i'm using the sofa today i'm just about to film the second video like i said fingers crossed i will maintain the flow there was this youtube video that i re-edited for tiktok which has been gaining a lot of engagement recently it was this video about you know the brp ending on the 31st of um, december and a lot of people have still not moved to e-visa i don't know some genuinely have encountered some issues regarding it while from the comment section of that tiktok video it is so evident that some people were just so nonchalant about this e-visa thing you get and i'm thinking if the home office had attached a condition to it or they are said if you do not do it by 31st of um, december this is what will happen or something like that will people actually have taken it more seriously because going through the comments on that video on tiktok i'm like nigerians we can ha we can play we can take things for granted chai a lot of people were procrastinating and some were even saying they won't do anything until maybe december 28th or 20th why 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 do you need to wait till the deadline before you do what you need to do i mean you know that this thing you have to do it you will definitely do it you must do it so why wait why procrastinate i'm talking to myself actually because there are a lot of things that you know i had missed out on because i procrastinated let me give you an example when i was working in the nhs as a research nurse we are encouraged to of course participate in research because we ourselves we are encouraging people to participate in research so we should be good examples right so there's this particular research that caught my attention it's about the skin and they will just take some sample of your tissue yeah they'll take some sample of your tissue and you know they shall do their things so as an incentive they give you this is it one card they used to call it you know this voucher card that you can use anywhere you can use it in a lot of different stores you can use it in audi asda whether online or offline they gave every participant that card and they credited it with 50 pounds voucher so you can use it to buy anything, food stuff, clothing, like anything. As long as the shop you are using it in, as long as they are approved and listed, you get. And I've gotten this card. I've participated in that research and I've gotten this card since, I think sometimes in 2022. And it was to expire in, I'm not sure whether one year or two years. I think two years. That was the expiry date. Because the last I checked, it was supposed to expire August 2024. 
and every time i remember I, I remember that i put that card in my bag and there was a time that i also put it in one of my cupboards if i can call it that and i was like oh i will use it i will use it i will use it you know i kept saying i kept procrastinating i kept procrastinating oh i will use it and it's not like i have one money to say ah i have money that i can just ignore that hey, oh 50 pounds even if i don't want it maybe i could have given it to somebody else to use that's how i was procrastinating and procrastinating you know what i had in mind was oh i will take it to because iceland was one of the shops that they support i'll take it to iceland and i will use it but i had that in mind but i did not take action so many a times when i now go out to shop the card remains in my house it's not in my bag you know i did not take it out from that cupboard to put it into my bag and to actively or even maybe put a reminder or something to remind me to use it do you know i forgot about that card until when i was moving into this house and by that time it has expired it paid me eh? like, let's say it expired last month and then i noticed it this month it pained me a whole 50 pounds that's how i lost it and after that i was just thinking about the different things i could have actually done to actively make sure that i use that card instead of saying oh i will use it later i will use it later i could have taken it and put it in a bag that i know that every time i go out at least once or twice a week i will take that bag out or i could have even put it inside the car of course there is no way i would i would not take the car so even even it was while i was already shopping that i remembered i could easily go back to the car and take it you get but i did not do that this is just one of many examples though, of what procrastination has done in my life like in fact so this brings me back to this ibiza thing like why are we procrastinating seriously why why I'm sure that by the time it's towards the end of the year, that website will be jam-packed. Even now that the website is not so busy, myself, I knew how many attempts it took me and how frustrating it was to get that cheap thing done and then to get verified and everything. Now, imagine if you are now just doing it on that 31st of December and then the website is down or you are not getting it imagine the pressure and you are now pressurizing yourself and imagine the pressure you will be under as you are saying oh i need to do it before the end of today before the end of today and at the end of the day i'm sure a lot of people will still not get it done it is well with us it is well with us anyway i just wanted to do a little rant before the end of this vlog the cocoa of this vlog is stop procrastinating is there something that you're supposed to do or there's that you're supposed to have done right now that you have not done i'm sure you just remembered something now oh yeah stand up stand up like that go and do it even if you can't get it done today take some steps take some active steps to set that plan to set it in motion hmm? now 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 take your phone put it on reminder or just do something do something that will help you to do it at the same time this just came to my mind now and i believe this message is for somebody if you have been procrastinating on opening a youtube channel you have been procrastinating you have been procrastinating and say oh i'll do it later i'll do it later i'll do it maybe because of fear or because of what people will say or because of oh i don't think i'll get a lot of views or you know whatever it is please don't be discouraged just start okay just start. you never know until you start just start 2025 is around the corner make it the year you get consistent or you get started with youtube or you know with any other project that you are planning for or that you have in mind i pray god will help us all <laughs> thank you for listening to my ted talk and this brings us to the end of vlogmas day fill in the gap <laughs> thank you so much guys please let me know in the comment section share with me in the comment section what do you think about procrastinating things you know procrastinating projects you know procrastinating the things that you need to do you know just share 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 with us 
share your story share your lessons yeah some of the lessons you've learned um about procrastination yeah i want to learn i want to read from you guys and don't forget to like this video leave a comment below share this video and subscribe if you have not and i'll see you in this other videos showing on your screen thank you bye The wonders of life got the prettiest side.